Go along the road, the little guy. I'd like you all to know. He grew a great big marrow for the Luton Flower Show. He showed it to a lady who lived just along the way. And when she saw the signs of it, he had the ladies. Tiny Tums, Tiny Pies. You simply won't get tinier. Peens. Not quite peas. Not quite beans. But something special in betweens. Barbara, get the big plates out. Oh, Nigel. Give your wife the best. Give her Big Ron's big pies. Come on down to what you... Come on down to what you beg for. Where we have... An ample variety. Bammy passes, buttery nubs. Bammy passes, buttery nubs. Bammy passes, buttery nubs. Bammy passes, buttery nubs. Family. Romance. Bit. Visit Bansworth. It's rate good. So that's Bansworth. Strange place, I know, but they need what we're selling, see? I've got you a meeting with the Lord Mayor today, so don't miss that bus. Are you listening? Get going! What are you still doing here, boy? Get out!
Good morning, little fella. <laughs> nice to have you around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sourcing some lubrication, but I might slip free. Hmm? I need something greasy to slip me out of here. Ah! Oof! Ee! Ee! Oof! Oof! Ha ha! Oof! But Meg's in Tobin. Oh, no. Oh, I guess I'll starve. Oof, ah, oh, ah, oof. What a, what a doll. I'm sorry, sir. We're closed this morning. Because this dolt has lost my keys. And now you've got to wait for that useless locksmith. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. What am I like? Colin, you are the most work shy fop I've ever had the misfortune to employ. with chicken. need. The mayor's asked me to clean up this little rose garden. You can start by getting on that mower. Don't be shy, lad. Give that low mower the old grab and squeeze. Just like in the day. I can finally get home to my puzzles. I love puzzles. No chance of any of them round here, though. Gets that tuppens. Oh dear. Oof. Uh. Hey. Oh 
morning. Council tax all paid. Well then, Larry, how about a cobbler's pint, eh? What's a cobbler's pint, then? It's like a normal pint, but I take blue and my shoes off. Uh, I'd love to, Ronnie, but the beer's coming out all flat. Flat? Well, why don't you go down into the cellar and knock a few bottles about? Slim chance of that. I don't even know how to get downstairs. You can't get downstairs, you know, public house. Well, Florence normally does it, but she's off today. Good grief. While you're down there, lad, give those battles a shake-up, won't you? Every morning I wake up, can of lager, then I do a big wee. Then I get out of bed and I go downstairs for my morning pint. You know, you need steady hands to be a locksmith. Take it now, please. Right you are, Ronnie. Another morning pint coming up. You working today then, fella? Yes. In fact, I've just been makes already, I think. I'll be back in a moment for my morning pint. Oh, what's he like, eh? Come on then, let's pour you a pint and all. On the house. That Ronnie's a character. He'll be back later, I reckon.
No breakfast for me. Typical. I never get my way. Ah, see. I do love my more wife. You and your wife should come around sometime. We live underground, in soil and that. Anyway, I best be off. I've got some worms to suck up into my big mole mouth. Nice firm grip on that mower, lad. I tell you, Reggie's wife could learn a thing or two. <laughs> Golly! What an 
earth are you doing with that mop, boy? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. My mum's got me back on the mercury again. Give me strength. Found me. I'm the fridge stoat, and I'm awfully frigid. Ah, no, I just. I'm actually the town bowl, if you catch my meaning. seen a hole as big as that before. My wife could learn a thing or two. Yes, Marge. I don't think this thing's worked in quite a while. How have you been cooking fish and chips all this time? Oh, I just do a cold fry usually. Oh. Hang on a wee minute. Where's my blinking spanner? Oh, don't tell me it's been pinched again. It'll be that senile old fishmonger bish down at the market. 
You better get down there and find it, or it'll be cold chips till the cows come home! Now then, Marge, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money until... No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. I didn't walk right for a week last time, and that vinegar smell's only just washed out. Don't yourself. Knocking on my door, is it? Council says we've got to get these dogs buried by end of day. Well, that's just what we call laying pipes, which is what we call shagging. a sausage here. Would you like it? Here you go. Ah, I've dropped it. That's okay. I've got another. Ah, I've dropped it again. It's all right. I've got some more inside. Back in a mo. Don't worry, little fella. I'll pop you down the apples and pears in a jiffy. <laughs> oh, a fine mess. Don't bother there, young man. Help yourself to some scrambled bread on your way out. Thank goodness you're in. I've been sucking this pipe the morning. I haven't got a drop out of it. Little Tomantha is and he crossed it over. We need to dampen that topsoil pronto. She needs a drink, lad. She's drier than Meg's fruitcake. Get into the time. Yeah, well, D.
You know, I love cucumbers, but I cannot stand a snail. Every time I put one in my mouth, I'm nearly sick. Will you do me a favour? If you see any snails, give them a clip round the ear hole for me. I simply do not like snails at all. Passing off my spanner as a stiff kipper, is it? But we've been friends for 40 years. Why on earth would I betray your trust now? Oh, why don't you spare me the excuses, you fat trout? I'm taking this back to my toolbox where it belongs. How embarrassing. Have you heard about Big Rotten's? What's he done? No pie. Well, I said an old on a Thursday morning, no less. Thursday morning. What are you going to do? Well, I don't know, but I'd eat pie for tea. Well, uh, of course you do. Why don't you let's oh, go to bed well, and make hold you on. Like... Me fish oh, pot. What's all this about, about then? Well, there you go then. I'll be round at six. So you're not invited. I can't believe that big man, no pie. Doug's the name, drugs are the game. Very handsome, my dog. Blooming here, you really set him off now, aren't you? Well, what? It is big. Well, you didn't have to say it like that. What's so soft about it? I've got a big tour. Don't see me chucking bananas. What a mess!
if I have a cross, a thick rope of wire. Pies, tiny pies. All I need is my burger. Oily baps, get them fresh, get them warm, get them moist. No breakfast, and now no lunch. Yeah, you can have any of that. Uh, Karen won't be needing them when she's done. <laughs> come just in the nick of time. I came in as usual, opened up shop, counted till, went to make my first pie of the day, and then I realised we've no meat. I can't make a pie without meat. It's the second most important ingredient. Ooh, I hate to say it, but you'll have to get down to Sam's hams and pick us up some of his steak. Oh, a sorry state indeed. Florence! Get that oven warmed up for when this young man comes back. Yes, of course, Mr. Warren. Right away. Come on then, lad. Let's be having you. Oh, has he got any pies? Man's meat in my pie. 
dad had spit. Do this. Cracky, look at the size of this lad's yeah. Mara. We didn't need that hose after all, lad. Right, so all we need now is fertilizer. Good looking fish in here. That one's got a nice set of teeth. I hope we catch some of theirs. I'm starving. Ah, the dingle room. A most invasive and hostile flower. If even slightly agitated, it will burst and scatter the seed. There's some nice ones in here I've today. I've one before it could do any damage. Never touch a dingle weed with the open palm. They are dangerously virile. Oh, oh, oh. Some wisdom for you. Never give an owl a towel. I can't seem to understand it. I pick up all the litter and I put it in a bag. And then, next thing I know, it's blooming everywhere. I'll never make fuzz on that at this rate. Still, I do love litter.
there, young man. Thank goodness you're here. My drain pipes are all blocked up over there, and I need them cleaning out. Won't you give it a go? It's only Nancy's new bloody boyfriend. She's got a new one every week. All oh, right, it'll be nice to have a proper sit-down tea. I'd rather have a sit-down wee. Oh, behave. Kick. That's kick then. Ah, uh, kick. So, I was watching the television last night. The numbers were getting higher and higher. The programming, more and more irreverent. I was almost entrapped by the telly shopping. A long form piece about a wet and dry vacuum cleaner almost caught my eye. But then I happened upon the strangest of things. An entire television channel dedicated to women on the phone. Of course, I dialed in immediately. And the operator connected me to the most enchanting lady, Chantel. We spoke for hours of Tolstoy and of Dickens and of Tchaikovsky and of course anatomy. And see, that's why I needed your credit card details, Larry. Right, Ronnie. For the telly ladies. Yeah, that's right, Larry. That was for a night of mutual pleasure. Right you are, Ronnie. Now, about my time, I won't be paying it. I need all of that money for the wet and dry vacuum. I wonder, Larry, just how wet can we get it? Pasty pop. I think it's possible to dual wield truncheons. Left hand, right hand, double bash.
I cracking work reclaiming my spanner from that despicable fishmonger? Unfortunately, I've just noticed my screwdriver's gone missing too. It's probably that daft lassie, Kerry, down at Price Shaggers. Hey, hello. He's just the bitch who found his spanner. Shame about Mr. Bish, though. I'll not be buying from him again. Fight still broke. Don't put your rubbish in my bin. I won't. I don't know. Huh. Monkey pup. I get lonely sometimes, so I like to have a little look through the window. Ooh, oh, ah. Oh, ooh. to load them down from the roof. Can you fetch us that box of rat poison from top shelf? I've been on my best behaviour. I deserve a treat, not a mouse. Bumbling World Watch. Got a 
you're rubbish in my bin. I wouldn't. Mm. Come on, I'll eat them raw. Right, away you go, laddie. I can't get into this thing without my trusty screwdriver. Don't put your rubbish in my bin. I won't. Kerry Louise Pickle, passing off my flathead as your produce, is it? Yes, but why on earth would I do that? I can't turn my back for a minute in this town without one of you pinching my tools. I swear down, I've never seen this before in my life. Ah, a likely story. I'll be filing a complaint with the head office, that's for sure. Hey, anyway, back to the chip over this. You're right with you, Jasper. Anyway, thanks for that, Kida. Yep, never look back yet.